Hey guys, welcome out to Paulding County. I'm in Dallas, Georgia. This is actually a floor plan uh, my clients um, are building out here. So I'm doing a taping of the model home. Uh, you could build this both in Villarica and in Dallas. Uh, this Dallas community is amenity filled, really, really nice. Next lot releases, I'm taping this in December of 2021, expected in three or four months. You don't want to be on a list in the three or four months. You want to be on it now because they're going to go on order through preferred lender. If you like this floor plan, it's a five bedroom. And this is their estate series. If you want to build this in Villa Rica, you can. Another amenity filled community as well. And I think you're going to be really, really impressed. I just walked it myself and now I'm going to give you the visuals, the Haymark tours. <laughs> But as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, you have kind of the modern craftsman style. Uh, you'd be able to choose the brick or stone accent colors um, on the house. It's hardy plank siding that you see. It's beautiful wall of windows showing enough room for a swing bed or uh, rocking chairs. Love it. All right, let's go through the front door. Check it out. And I know a lot of you like to have the opportunity when you build new to pick from a design center. This will allow you to do it right there in the model home. So as you come in, this is your foyer. I'm sure they're going to show you a lot of the upgrades um, on these floor plans. But you can see it has the uh, rev wood. Some people call it stone core. It depends on the manufacturer. But gives you that hardwood look but doesn't scratch or dent. And it's actually very affordable if you wanted to do a lot of this throughout the house. Most of the times they're going to give it to you like in the family room, kitchen, something like that. Or foyers if you want to add it to some of the secondary bedrooms. It's actually a pretty affordable option. You see the wrought iron and the, the wood banister uh, uh, staircase as well. Wrap it around to the right. Here's your dining room. The beautiful coffered ceilings. Look at the overextended wainscoting. Uh, trim work halfway up the walls, the beautiful uh, double windows, and the chandelier in here. Just a real nice modern farmhouse craftsman style floor plan, but giving you a lot of the modern features as we walk through it, you'll see. Beautiful. Going to wrap it around, and you can see this is the front uh, flex room. A lot of the builders are calling it flex rooms because you can do it as this beautiful gorgeous uh, home office space. You could imagine if you're a work from home employee or an entrepreneur, great use of an accent wallpaper color, showing it with a couple mirrors, a nice, beautiful, rustic uh, desk and chair. But of course, if you also want to make another room a home office, or you want to make this more of a conversation room, or you can put a TV on there if you want to as well. You're going to have the formal family room that we'll take a look at. But I love it, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll see if there's any semi-customizable features of it. If you wanted to make this wall a little bit uh, more enclosed, you probably can do that with some French doors or something like that. But beautiful, beautiful design and layout. We enter into the family room and kitchen. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see. You're looking at a great design feature. I you know if you've watched my videos, you know I'm big into interior design. Um, and I absolutely love how they did the brick uh, uh, fireplace. You can see it's a combination. You can either do gas or electric, it looks like. But the great use of a console table here with mirrors. There must be a, a floor outlet under here so you don't see the wires. You see the couch and chairs as well. If you actually want people to, this kind of setup is basically showing if you want a more conversational family, uh, family room because not everybody on this angle obviously is going to be able to watch the TV above it. Uh, so that's one vibe that people do. Other people will probably put another couch or a love seat here here or a sectional so that everybody could look at the tv maybe put a chair in that corner but just giving you design ideas and features showing a little console table great use of woven uh, baskets to hang up on the wall very very nice turn it around and a killer killer kitchen as you can see 
love uh, the kitchenette area for seats in here. If you'll notice, it's a wall of windows back here. If you peek out the back windows, that is a covered wraparound back porch, which I'm excited to show you. But before we get there, look at some other features. This kitchen, gorge, great color scheme. The white island with the gray uh, background for the cabinets, the um, sink in the island. You're seeing the microwave and oven. I love the blue inside of these Samsung ovens. See, this is probably a quartz material, the beautiful brick pattern uh, laid backsplash. This vent hood is killer. The refrigerator, again, the sink, dishwasher. So you have the combination of the microwave and the oven on the wall. Love that with the dishwasher and the refrigerator to allow for the uh, vented hood. While I'm over here, why do you say we take a look at the pantry and that wraparound back porch? This is showing it as a built-in pantry. Love the cabinets, great use of space. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a built-in bench, another idea, area for the dogs or the cats. Looking back into the family room. All right, let's go and take a look. Look at this covered back porch, right? And most builders are going to give you, you know, this look, just the, the covering on this side. You're ready to do the jaw drop. Yeah. But obviously this could be your eating area. This could be your entertainment. Think about cigars. I don't know. I'm not a proponent of cigarette smoking, but hey, if that's your thing. Obviously, this is a great space for that. But how about a nice cocktail? Looking at TV out here, watching the UGA, your form, your favorite football or basketball team, family gatherings. I mean, great, great space. I'm going to walk down here to show you what the back of the house looks like this is on a basement again you want to get on a list three or four months of december 2021 will be the next lot release our clients i think we're on it since uh in march february or march and they just got the lot this past a uh, few weeks past two weeks so in november Absolutely gorgeous. So you could do this on a slab or basement. Um, I believe the the lots in the estate section are all going to be slab. So um, you're going to be looking at the first two levels. Don't be looking at the basement at this stage. Um, but you're going to be probably, they said the estates will be touching high, high threes to about the mid to upper fours, like 480. Because I'm sure a lot of you are going to want to kill it with the upgrades like you see in here. Let's look what else we saw. I like this accent wall too as well. Full bath down here. Look at the beautiful cabinet, granite countertop, mirror, tub shower, toilet. Got a little closet inside of here too. Towels and linens. Very important to a lot of people, the connecting door from the bedroom. This is bedroom number one. This makes for a great guest suite, teenager suite. You have a mother, mother-in-law. Absolutely gorgeous. Closet. Open and airy. All right. The wood staircase. This is the again Revwood on a staircase. I think you're gonna really like the master bedroom, but let's look at the secondary. I like to save that for the end for you guys. Bedroom number one, showing it as a nursery. But of course, this is what the designers for these builders give you ideas for. Closet window. So obviously you could probably put a full-size bed on this wall if you don't have a need for a nursery and, you know, areas for dressers and stuff like that. Twin bed would work good in here too, like on this wall. 
create a little sitting area, TV on that wall. That could look real nice too. Jack and Jill bath. So these two bedrooms will share this bathroom. Sink on its own wall, toilet, tub shower, bedroom number three. We saw the one downstairs. We just walk through that one. This is bedroom number three. This is cute how they designed a little fisherman wall, wallpaper, adding a nice rustic piece of wood trim. But obviously, you know, where you see with this bed, you could do a queen, I would say, in this one if you wanted to. Maybe even the king. But I would say a queen with two nightstands would be the most comfortable. Showing as a dresser, flat screen TV above. Your covered front porch, the double windows. Closet. <laughs> this is a great theme. I love these. There's a creative designers that decorate these houses. Look at the beautiful view, right, on this. Kind of nice wide open uh, hallway here. Wall closet, towels and linens. This bedroom will have access to its own bathroom, as you can see, or a hall bathroom. So you have the uh, sink, tub shower, toilet. You can see the doorway heading into the bedroom. And then here's the bedroom. So they're showing the bed just for design purposes on an angle. Pretty cool idea, actually, but. I probably would put my bed on this wall. Flat screen TV right there. Create a little sitting area. Nice size room on this one. Closet. And what do you say we go take a look at the primary bedroom? Love the idea of that. Oh, before we get there, always important, the laundry room. Got the cabinets. It's not just a closet, it's actually a room in here. So you got obviously showing that you could still fit your laundry basket, washer and dryer, the top, uh, you could do top load or the, the front load, which is just showing. But again, that beautiful layout here. And I think you're gonna be really, really impressed with this primary bedroom. It has some amazing features. Number one, you can see the sitting area, gorgeous. Your main bedroom area. Of course, you could put your dresser and flat screen TV over there. Your one of two closets, I believe, in here. Showing it with some build out, great use of space, drawers, shoe racks. The primary bathroom we'll take a look at. But do you see what I see? How would you like a nice covered deck off of your master bedroom? I know I would. How lovely is this? With that, remember that wrap around uh, deck over here? A couple glasses of wine, relax. Anybody in your family you're entertaining? They want to use that wraparound porch. You don't even have to leave your bedroom. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, the ever important primary bath is gorgeous. All this tile work. Look at that beautiful enclosed shower. See the bench, the accent strip of tile, area for your shampoos and soaps. The soaking tub, love the handle on that. Great idea with the, um, if you don't want to frost it or you don't want to put blinds on it. Nice little curtain for from privacy. Look at this beautiful double vanity sinks. And then a second closet goes all the way down here, all the way to the other end. I'm so excited for our clients. Look how wide this bathroom is too. So five bedrooms, master bedroom with sitting area and deck off of it. Beautiful kitchen, beautiful opportunity to go to design here at the model home community. Again, Villa Rica or Dallas, Georgia, get on the list now, taping it December, 2021, three to four months to lot releases. All right, talk to you soon.